Hello everyone, this is Nick, and today I'll be talking to you about the BlackBerry Passport. Got it in front of me, I've had it for about two weeks now, and uh, let me just say I'm quite impressed. So, let's start off by talking about some of the hardware. Uh, we've got the, uh, the BlackBerry Passport right in front of us. It's pretty wide in the hand, this is it in my hands. I've got pretty average size hands. Uh, it does fill, fill it up pretty well. Um, one of the things that really got me right off the bat when I first took it out of the box is this steel band that uh, that goes around the outside. It just feels incredible in the hand. Uh, in the morning, whenever it's nice and cool, it, it's, it's cool. And it just, I don't know, I find that really cool. It feels nice uh, in the hand. Uh, it feels very solid. If I squeeze it, it doesn't creak or anything like that. If I threw this across, across the room, I'm sure it would do just fine. Um, but yeah, I was, I was really impressed. You even got the, uh, the steel going across the, uh, steel frets going across the keyboard there, which is just really nice. Uh, so while we're on the topic of the keyboard, uh, you might see something that's a, a little different. Uh, the space bar, let me see if I can get that in the light here. The space bar is between the V and the B keys, uh, which is different. It takes some getting used to. It took me about two days to get used to that, but now I am definitely a texting champion with this thing. Uh, but yeah, just a thing to know, it does take a little bit of time to get used to that. Um, yeah, so now we'll, uh, we'll turn on the device here, we'll start her up, there we go. And uh, that comes, that leads me to my next topic, is the, uh, the screen. Uh, this thing is absolutely gorgeous, one of the uh, most uh, highest quality screens I've ever used. Um, and I've used quite a, quite a few devices. Uh, you don't see any pixels, it is just absolutely gorgeous, the contrast is nice. Um, just overall really impressed with uh, with the screen quality. Also, not just that, but it reminds me of the Nexus 4 quite a bit with uh, how the screen actually is. Um, maybe I can show you off the light here. The screen curves on the edges, just like the Nexus 4 used to. Uh, and the screen feels super smooth. Super, super smooth. It just It's very pleasing uh, to actually touch the screen and use it. Uh, which is something you don't find from very many devices. It actually feels premium. Whereas like with the Nexus 5, I found that uh, it was very plasticky. I don't know, there's something that really, really impressed me and it feels really good to uh, to actually use the device. Uh, one of the other uh, cool things about the Passport is the uh, the new keyboard features. Uh, this uh, this uh, keyboard is touch enabled. Uh, I'll show you that in a second here with uh, an app. Let me, uh, here we go, we got a typing app right here. Uh, one of the f uh, first things that you'll note uh, is the fact that there are no symbols on the keyboard, and that's because they're up here. Um, it's a little different. It takes a little bit of getting used to once again. It does kind of slow you down at first, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty cool. Um, the way you get the, uh, the rest of your symbols is obviously those aren't all the symbols you need. Uh, you put your, fi your finger on the, uh, the keyboard, and you swipe down, and that brings up the, uh, the rest of the symbols. Now you have a couple options here. You can either tap on the screen uh, for your symbol, or you can press the corresponding key. Uh, one thing I found with numbers is if you press the uh, one of the uh, corresponding number keys, it closes the keyboard right away, see? So if you have to enter multiple numbers, it kind of slows you down. However, if you open this up and you tap up here, it keeps it open, which is one thing to note uh, when typing numbers and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a neat little feature they implemented. It's a way to get around the, uh, the whole uh, symbol issue, uh, although they could have just put an alt key and maybe moved the space bar down here and they would have been golden, but I guess they have a reason for everything, and uh, overall, it's, it, it just takes some getting used to. It's not that bad. Uh, another cool thing is the fact that the uh, the keyboard can be used as basically like a, a scroll wheel. Uh, you can actually scroll through content by moving your finger uh, up and down on the uh, on the keyboard. So as you can tell there, I'm going up and down, which is nice because it keeps your thumb out of the way. Uh, whenever you're trying to look at content, it stops you from accidentally clicking stuff and liking stuff, which is something you find often on Twitter. On the right-hand side of Twitter, obviously it's Facebook, but on the right side of Twitter, uh, you can add people underneath their tweets, and sometimes I find myself uh, accidentally hitting that uh, while I'm scrolling through content. But yeah, uh, it's a neat little feature. I think it's pretty cool that you can... Uh, I find it really nice for whenever I'm browsing content and stuff like that. Uh, just when I read through articles, I don't miss anything, you know, my thumb's not on the way, I'm not smudging the screen too. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty nice. So the main difference you're gonna see with this BlackBerry 10.3 operating system, which is the one that comes with the, uh, the BlackBerry Passport, is the fact that there is an Amazon App Store. I put it in this junk folder here because I don't play games or anything like that. I have no use for it. I'm just a texter and a uh, talker. 
But uh, if you do like playing games, uh, specifically games from the Google Play Store, uh, you will find them in the uh, the Amazon App Store. Uh, they've got a lot of a lot of apps uh, making BlackBerry probably one of the uh, one of the devices with the most apps that are accessible now uh, nowadays, which is kind of crazy to think of. Uh, people used to make fun of it for not having any apps. Well, now it has like two three app stores technically you have the amazon app store you've got the blackberry world and you can also sideload google play apps um which is pretty neat and it's pretty impressive that you can do that with a device uh, such as the blackberry uh, another thing that you may care about is the battery life uh i haven't charged this thing for two days and i'm still at 42 percent this was moderate usage uh which is pretty awesome uh i can't get that with any of my other devices like my uh my Q10, my Z10, my Nexus 5, they never had this kind of battery life. Especially with this kind of screen, it's really impressive. Um, also, the uh, the camera. Um, why don't we go to that? Camera is very impressive. Uh, whatever you have, the uh, the target in focus. I was trying some selfies out with this thing. And uh, at first, it wasn't catching my face until I actually tapped the screen on my face. And then it was crystal clear. Uh, it was kind of disappointing at first, but... Uh, I'm sure some software updates will come out and that'll fix that issue. It should be able to auto tech faces. But yeah, other than that, I'm really impressed with the device. Uh, the only uh, shots that I really, issues I really had with it, we're just getting used to the, uh, the keyboard functionality, the symbols and all that stuff. But once you get used to that, it is a great device. It feels really solid in the hand, like I said. Uh, it's very premium. Gets a lot of attention too out in public. A lot of people uh, asking what it is. Um, it's it, it's just gorgeous. Uh, reading content and stuff on this wide screen is just really nice. Overall, the OS is just fantastic, but you'd already know that using any kind of BlackBerry 10 device. Uh, it's not exclusive to the Passport, obviously. But uh, overall, the Passport adds some great functionality uh, to an already great operating system. And uh, I would definitely recommend it to anybody uh, looking at a new phone, looking for something for their, uh, their big hands or into big phones, you're looking for a big phone, I would go for the Passport. You won't be disappointed. I'm, re I'm really serious whenever I say this. It's a premium device uh, with some great software and great features. And it's definitely worth it. More innovative than you've seen from Apple in the past couple of years. Let's be honest. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. So give it a shot. Go to uh, your nearest uh, cell phone store and try it out for yourself. See if you like it. Uh, it's definitely it's definitely uh, a business phone. It's definitely something for uh, people that mean business. And uh, I, I definitely recommend it to you guys. Uh, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys.